Yo, what up? This is Hot Sick with Funk Volume, giving a shout out to Hard Knock TV. Yeah. Well, I got news for you. My schools are loose. I tell you, this rap thing here's what I used to do. Now I'm moving to Australia. When I go ghost, I'ma get a house on the Gold Coast, yelling yo low on the couch, feeling so dope, living no close. So these fat niggas don't know I was stretching around like hell yeah. Last time we talked, you said you weren't really having fun being Hobson. Yeah. And that uh, that you wanted to retire, and move to Australia. Mm-hmm. I'm uh, doing it. You're doing it. I'm yeah. fucking doing it. Okay. It's it's happening. It's it's already in effect. I, I do my tour. It, I start the Knock Madness tour in Australia in December and I'm staying an extra five or six days to just go look around, look for the place that I actually want to live in. I'm just going to do it because why not? I'm in a position to do it. I have a lot of money in my bank account. I, I've been working on Hobson for so long now it's time to work on my personal life. And as I told you in the beginning of this interview, I'm lost. I don't know who the hell I am. I don't know what I'm supposed to represent. I like the idea of being in a whole new country away from everybody that I know, not knowing anybody, being in my own little apartment and just starting from zero to where it's like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna build myself from zero and be who I wanna be, whatever I think I should be and just become it. And just, and just, just I just wanna learn life, man. I wanna, I wanna, you know, I've been in America, I wanna go to Australia and I might wanna do it with another country. I might wanna move to France for a fucking year one day. I might wanna move to Africa for a year. Like who, like, I just wanna, I wanna explore Earth. Why just stay in this one place when I can explore the whole entire thing? Like it, it's here for me to explore. So I wanna go to Australia and, and this is, and it's a, it's a journey and a mission for me to find myself. Like, I just wanna be there and just walk outside. I wanna be there the first day when I get there with my baggage and just go to my apartment and just be like, man, I don't know anybody. I don't even know how to use the phones. I don't know how many numbers there are in their phone numbers. I don't know anything. I, and I, I'm, but I'm gonna, it's gonna excite me like, oh, this, it's cause it's such an obstacle. I, and it's gonna be cool to just not have any friends over there and then just start from scratch. And all of a sudden I just meet a new friend and then he's become my friend. And I just meet somebody else. I meet some skater homies. And, I, and it, it would just interest me to even look at like a year from that moment that I moved there to look back and be like, wow. I built a whole goddamn life out here. Now I know Sherry, I know Carla, I know Lucy, I know Chris, I know Brad, I know Johnny, I know I know all these people now. And I remember when I just came here and didn't know zero people. Now I have all these phone numbers. I have a whole new life. I, I, I'll, I'll feel a different way too. I'll feel like I, I really accomplished something, and and, and it would be cool. Like I like I feel, you know in the movie um, Dark Knight, I think it was like the first one. Batman he he left, and he he just left away from everything, and he um. And he, it was like he was, I forgot exactly how it went down, but he, I just know he went to go find himself or went to go learn how to fight better, or do some shit. But then he came back and he, when he, when he, while he was out there, he had the big beard and everything. But he, he, was, he was bettering himself, though, and learning himself. And that's kind of what I want to do as well. I'm not going to be fucking learning no fighting shit, but um, I might. You never know, actually. There's no limits. I, and I'll still be making music over there. I'm going to have my studio, but I just want to live as Marcus. I want to be Marcus Hobson and not just Hobson. I want to just have a normal life. I want to, cause I want to get married one day, man. I want to have kids and I'm in no position right now to even have kids. I would love to have a kid right now. I would love to, that would excite me so much. Like, wow, cause I'm, I'm so financially stable. Everything's good, I can get my own house, but I haven't found the person, I haven't, all this shit. So, but I would love, I love the idea of it. I would love to have a wife and be married, but I know you know, when, when I'm touring and all these girls that come about, it fucks with your mind and, and it's like, damn, this is, there's too many girls in my life for me to even want to like, for me to even try to pursue a real relationship right now. And, I, and, and it's, it's, so, it's like the devil going, come here, Marcus, and all this shit. And it's gonna keep on happening. That's why I want to get away from it and just live as Marcus and not deal with Hobson so I can just work on my personal life. And, you know, marriage could happen out of the situation a kid could happen or I could just be a billion times happier than I've ever been like there's so many things that could come out of that out of me doing that so but I'm just I, it's a question mark when I think of Australia what's gonna happen I don't know but I, I'm I'm so curious to just find out what's gonna happen it's like a I'm willing to take to take that leap because I feel like if you don't if you're not taking big leaps in life then you're not gonna get any gold out of it so I just want to take that leap and just find out who I am and what I'm really here for. Learn, I want to learn myself. I want to learn what I really want. Is rapping really what I want to, what I want to do with my life? Do I want to, I might want to be a fucking golfer. Who knows? Like, I don't know. I haven't tapped in it too much in my life. Like I've just been rapping for so long. 
and it gets kind of boring too and all this stuff like, i just don't want you want to be around rappers it's just like a bunch of ignorance you know so yeah australia here i come Man, I'm losing my mind. Y'all assume that I'm cool when I rhyme See, I'm trying to be Marcus and Hobson But I get depressed when the two intertwine Truthfully, I'm not the man that I used to be Nobody cares who I used to be To talk to so I lose some heat I'm cut bad and the bruises deep Is there anything you could do for me? You think it's after the tour? Or you... Oh, after the tour for sure, yeah After the tour, yeah I'm gonna I told myself that I'm gonna do the whole entire Knock Madness run Which means Any radio appearances I have to do Any interviews I'm just gonna be Hobson I'm gonna give the fans Hobson just one last time very strong like i'm not even gonna do no interviews without the goddamn contacts that's how much of how i'm gonna go hard with the hobson like they're they're just going to get hobson and that is all and then after that i'm cutting the fucking rope and i'm, and I'm still gonna be hobson but when i want to i wouldn't i don't i'm gonna tell my business partner that i don't care about whatever interviews are set up that all canceled if i want to do an interview i'll tweet about it, it says whoever wants to do interview interviews interview me this week because this is the week where I feel like being hops and, and then after that I'm not going to be hops no more so it, I'm, I'm going to just do whatever I want so I'm just going to work on my personal self and it's because it's unhealthy man as cool as it looks as much money as I'm making doing this stuff you know I'm, I'm just going to and I, my money I mean it will, it will keep I will keep on making money you know because just from album sales even when I go to Australia but it's not healthy to just stay in this like this because I'm going to end up be being 40 years old and having no life and just be Hobson. That's all I'll ever have to hold on to, and, and that, that's not fun. That's not cool, man. It's not. It's not healthy because it, it hurts. And every artist will probably tell you that it's because like a drug that you're addicted to, but you don't want to do it. When all these fans are screaming your name and all that, it feels fucking great. But then when you don't have it and you're back in your personal life at home, you're like, man, who am I? Like, and it's just quiet, just like this. That this is exactly how it is when I come home from tours. Every single time I come in here and I put my bag right here, whatever, and I just sit. And all that shit just happened. Fans, hops in, hops in. Girls flashing their titties. Fans coming up with showing me their tattoos of my lyrics. And I'm just, and then I come here and it's just like, what just happened? Like, it's like, was that real? And then you start, and you get depressed for some reason. You, you just start getting this natural depression. You don't really know why. It can make you cry. It can make you feel, you get moody. And you're, like, you're just like, what the hell is going on? Like, who, who am I? Like, I'm just Marcus, but these people look at me as this and I, Ah, and then you, and you start going crazy. You might start tearing up, and it's just fucking like it's weird. It, it's something that you can only explain if you've gone through it. But it's like coming down. I mean, from it's something you can only understand if you've gone through it. It's like coming down from a high almost. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It is. It is like coming down from. A, it is. It is. So and it just it fucks with your head, man, in, in ways that I can't even explain. Like it, it, it's so trippy. Sometimes I just go outside, and I can go in my neighborhood right now and and see people just recognize me and they'll spot me out and they'll be fanning out and it's like, whoa, I remember I used to walk these streets and nobody knew who I was. And you know, it's, it's cool that my name is out there. I don't, I'm not ungrateful for my, I'm glad I'm popular, but now I'm at this new level where, I'm at this new stage where it's like, I have to, I need a person in life to be the foundation of all this or else I'm gonna collapse. Cause it's like, Hobson is up here, but it's on like a bunch of little chopsticks where they're shaking and then Hobson's gonna collapse and that could resort in me eventually trying drugs and overdosing on some shit, shooting myself in the head, jumping off a damn bridge, shaving my head bald like Britney Spears, or fucking becoming ratchet like Hannah Montana, whatever. Like, it, all that, it can, so many things that can happen from it, but I just, I don't want to lose my my humanly humbleness and that I, that I still have in my heart. I don't want to lose that side of me, and I, I feel it closing up, the door is closing. And I have to like hold it like, ah, no, I will not let you destroy me, Hobson. You, it, it's weird. It's, it's some fucking, it's some crazy ass superhero type shit that's going on. Like, I feel like Hobson is like the villain. And I'm trying to save my own damn life. It's crazy. Hmm. It is crazy. Like, I really don't even feel like the same guy when I'm Hobson. It, and it, it's like I'm possessed by Hobson where it's just like when I'm on stage, I don't feel like Marcus. Marcus does not exist. My whole attitude changes. The look of my eye, the look of my eyes change. The look of my facial expressions, everything. My my body gestures change. And and it's really me. It is really me. And it's hard to even snap me out of it when I'm in it, to where I'm just stuck in it. And then and, until I get back here and I t and I take the contacts, I'm like, whoa, what the hell was that? Like I really, it, it's crazy, man. I don't know who the hell I am.
It's funny you said that because uh, I ran into you at a, a pay. It was a pay dues of rock the bells. Mm-hmm. And I think you were you were in Hobson mode. I don't think you even recognized me. I was like, I didn't even recognize you. I was like, I, I was like, I know I sat down with this dude at his house for an hour, but it's like, like I think, I it probably, just, probably didn't. Yeah, I probably, if I didn't recognize, yeah, because I, I didn't. I, I don't even think I remember seeing you there because yeah. I, I don't know what the hell is going on. But yeah, it's just kind of crazy you said that because it's like it's, it's true, man. It's yeah, like, yeah, and, and it's not me. And when I turn to Hobson mode, it doesn't mean I become more cocky and and not recognize people. It's just a, it's just like when Batman. Turns into Batman. He's not gonna walk around with a hunchback and be like, "Hey, what's up, guys?" He talks like this because he has to play the role. And and when he's when he's doing it, he really fucking feels that shit. He's like, "Hell yeah, I'm gonna fucking kill you, or like all the pedestrians." And he he feels that shit. He really genuinely feels that shit. That's how that shit is when I'm Hobson. I really am that motherfucker. And it's, it, but I didn't make it up. It's not like made up stories where I'm like, Hobson is some intergalactical being that came from this and he's a computer and he's not real. And I walk around like, I am Hobson. And I believe I'm, robot, I'm a robot. It's not like that. It's just, it's just like Hobson is my emotions that are amplified. So everything that I think, like if I, if I, if I hate someone, I hate them more when I'm Hobson. If I um, feel a certain way, I'll feel even more of that way when I'm Hobson. It just amplifies everything. And then when I'm on stage rapping that shit, it's just you become it. And it's just like, so I've, I've, I'm cool with like some people that I've made songs about now, but when I'm, on that, when I'm on stage rapping that shit, I'm like, I hate this motherfucker right now. I don't give a fuck. Fuck this motherfucker. And then, and then I snap out of it like, oh shit, I almost went back to really hating that motherfucker again. Like, damn. Like, it, it's, it's weird, man. It really takes over everything.